Hello everyone, welcome to Anointed Lady TV, the home of news and politics. If it is your first time in this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you like what we do on this channel, hit on the subscribe button. Also put on the notification bell so you'll be notified by YouTube anytime we drop a new video. And if you are returning subscribers, thank you very much for always coming back to watch our videos. On this platform, we drop videos every day and we react to every video that come our way. And on this very video, I will be watching with you. And after watching, let's go to the comment section and drop our opinion constructively. Like our videos and also share our videos if possible. See you next time in my next video. Our ancestors are back. These are the people that promised the youths of Nigeria that they are going to be the leaders of tomorrow. Our ancestors, they have come back to take over the today of the youth, the tomorrow of the youth, and the forever of the youth. Ancestor A was asked, why do you want to be the president of Nigeria? He said, because it is my turn. They asked Ancestor B, why do you want to be the president of over 200 million people? He said, because I want to grab power from A. I want to take power from Ancestor A. That is what it's all about. It's about taking power. It's about grabbing power. It is my turn to go to Asorok. It has never been about you as a youth. It has never been about you and will never be about you. Now, what are the supposed leaders of tomorrow doing? They promised you leader of tomorrow. They said they will hand you over power. Because when they were 25 years and 26 years, they were heads of states. They were heads of states that they will make you, give you the opportunity to also govern, be a president or be a governor in Nigeria. Is the opportunity forthcoming? The opportunity is not coming. Now, the supposed leaders of tomorrow that they have come to take over their future, what are they doing to these people? What are they about to do? They are fighting pushing for the people that kept them in poverty to enter Asurok. It's our man. It's my tribal man. He has to go to Asurok. I have to vote for him. He, I know that he doesn't have what he takes. He doesn't have the capacity to govern Nigeria. I know he cannot do anything as the president of Nigeria. But because he's a Yoruba man, we have to vote for him like that. Because he's our man, we have to vote for him like that. All because of religion and tribal sentiment. That is what is killing and keeping the youth. That is what is killing Nigerian youth. They have mortgaged your destiny. Your future has been mortgaged. Now, these are the people responsible. What are you doing in the media? You are fighting. Hey, he's a Yoruba man. Because it's my, it's my tribal man, I have to vote for him. I know that he has epilepsy. I know that he doesn't uh, have anything to do or give as a president of Nigeria. But because he's our man, I must vote for him. That is what Nigeria is all about. They know that you forget easily. That they are responsible for the harsh economy. They know you forget easily. That they are responsible for Nigeria not having electricity. They know you will forget. Your parents went to the church. Your parents went to worship God in that Catholic church in all those states. Terrorists entered the church. In a sane environment, in a sane country. Terrorists will never have the balls, broad daylight, to enter the church and kill your parents. But they know you will forget that one. They know you will forget that terrorists invaded the church. And the people responsible for that and came to you, give you condolence visit as usual. Do the normal condolence visit. We are in shock. Enter shock. After getting shocked, they moved away, started their campaign. Called you the leader of tomorrow. Give you 3,000 and polo and tell you to continue. Continue mortgaging the, the future of your children. They are telling you to continue mortgaging the future of your, of your unborn children. And that is what you are doing. They know you will forget easily that you went to protest against police brutality at Lake Ito Gate because of bad governance, insecurity, police brutality, police extortion. You went to protest. What did they do? They went to Lake Ito Gate, switched off the camera, switched off the lights, brought in military. And started shooting everybody at Lekito Gates. Lekki massacre. They know you will forget the Lekki massacre. 
They know you will forget that they are adopting your reverend fathers. They know you will forget that they are kidnapping your pastors. They know you will forget. They know you will forget about the harsh economy. They know you will forget. You forget easily. They know that. That is why they have come back. Your ancestors are back. You are a graduate of Uniben. You, you read political science. But you don't have a job. The people responsible for you not having a job have called you back. You don't have a job. You are living with your parents. You are still eating more meat, thank you. Because there is no job. Because there is no opportunity. No opportunity for you to be given a job because the people responsible will never give you a job. They will never pay your parents' salary. They will never give you accessible road. They will never give you electricity. And as a Nigerian youth, these are the questions you are supposed to be asking. But you don't ask that question. You are a graduate, but now what are you doing? You are a jagoda. You are a pickpocket. You have turned to pickpocket. The people responsible for your jagoda business have come back to give you polo and 2000. And you will be doing pickpockets. A graduate like you that is supposed to be in the, in the office or in your factory, working, making your parents proud. You are moving around from pillar to post, picking people purse, pickpockets, jagoda, jagoda. Jago that you are supposed to be asking question. What happened to the electricity that you promised us? What happened to the fuel that you said would be decreased that we are going to be buying fuel at at least 16 naira? What happened to that? What happened to electricity? What happened to, the, to our good roads? Why are they still looting us? Why is there still corruption in Nigeria? These are the questions I expect Nigerian youth to be asking. But Nigerian youth are not asking questions. What are they doing? Pushing for umbrella because it's our man. It is our man. He has to enter us up. Whether he is capable, we know that he is not capable. But he has to be there. This is a Yoruba man. We have to push them. Let us continue pushing. The supposed leaders of tomorrow are gone. Fighting for umbrella and broom. Why Cameroonians are enjoying uninterrupted power supply. Ghanaians are enjoying uninterrupted power supply. Rwanda is enjoying fastest growing economy of Africa. Why the youths of Nigeria, the supposed leaders of tomorrow, are following umbrella and broom in this present dispensation? The leaders of tomorrow that are supposed to be asking, what happened to eight years of Obasanjo as the president of Nigeria? What happened to two years of Yaradua? What happened to two, six years of good luck, Ebele, Jonathan? What happened to eight years of Buhari as the president of Nigeria? All wasted, wasted eight years of Obasanjo, wasted two years of Yaradua. Wasted six years of a Bella Jonathan. Wasted eight years of Buhari. Nothing to show for it. Nothing to show for it. Zero educational sector. Zero economy. Harsh economy. Inflation. The leaders of tomorrow are supposed to be asking questions. But you are not asking questions. You are following broom and umbrella. A hey, Jagoda. Jagoda. You are following broom and umbrella. Look at that beautiful girl. She just read economics. But she doesn't have a job. She has turned to a prostitute. You are now a wrong girl. You are now Ron's girl, you are Ron's girl, running from one place to another. They have given you polo, Umbrella have given you polo, Broom have given you 2,000. To vote, to vote for them. And you don't ask questions. You don't want to ask questions. The people responsible for you not having job. The people responsible for you not having factory. The people responsible for you not having industries in Nigeria have come back again to tell you what. To tell you what, I am asking the youth and the supposed leaders of tomorrow. You are supposed to be fighting for your total freedom, your total liberation. You don't know that these people have mortgaged your destiny. They have kept you in bondage. They have kept you in captive. And you don't know about it. You are not aware of, of it. You don't know what these people have done to you. You don't know the extent of the damage these people have done to you. You don't know. But you are still fighting. In this present dispensation, the supposed leaders of tomorrow are following broom and umbrella. Following broom and umbrella. Why Rwanda is enjoying fastest growing economy of Africa? Africa, the giant of Africa called Nigeria, is still is going down. Every day Nigeria is going down. Now these leaders of tomorrow are not asking questions. Jagoda. Jagoda, you are not asking questions. Pickpocket. Pickpocket, you are not asking questions. You are only taking polo to go and follow umbrella. You are only taking polo to follow broom. Broom. You want broom to enter Asuro. All because of tribal and religion sentiments. When I see you people, eh, I don't see you like human beings. You people are lower than animals. Uno do lower than animals. Youth that are supposed to be asking questions. Why are you mortgaging our future? No, you will not. What are you doing in this time? In this present time? Umbrella and broom. We want umbrella. It is umbrella turn. It is broom turn. 
it is broom tongue. And it goes on and on like that. In my next life, I will never be part of you people. God will never bring me together with people like you that doesn't have good mentality. Your mentality is out of it. People that reason like animals. Animals are better than most of you. Most of you Nigerian youths, the supposed youth. You haven't seen anything yet. Worst days are coming. Continue voting for pushing for umbrella and broom to enter Asurok. I'm not telling you not to push you. Push. Push for them to enter to Asurok. Push. Continue pushing. Don't ask questions. Don't ask why you don't have electricity. Don't ask why you don't have good road. Don't ask questions. I'm telling you today, don't ask questions. Just be pushing for them to enter Asurok. We're pushing the people that brought in Buhari, majority of them are not alive. That will be your case.